Hello, I'm Swapnil. In this video, we'll take a look at how you can build any type of website through which you are looking to earn money without any further ado. Let's get started. Now, before we look into how you can build website, I have personally built tens of website. Some have made some money and some where I have lost a lot of money as well. But looking back, every website that I have built has brought some kind of opportunity for me. And I still continue to build many websites in my free time. There can be different type of website. But yeah, primarily they are divided into two types. First is personal type of website and second is business type of website. Now, personal type of website can have your own domain like my name is Swapnil Mane. So it can be swapnilmane.com. It can be your name or it can be short form of your name. But yeah, personal websites can usually build for showcasing your projects and about yourself to maybe your future employer like if you are looking for a job then second it can be if you are a content creator and you want people to come to your website and maybe join your newsletter like Ali Abdal is a famous youtuber and he has his own website called aliabdal.com where he shares a lot about himself than his blogs and along with that he also promotes his courses so that like if when people come to read his blogs articles and other things they also subscribe to his newsletter so that is one way you can utilize a personal website then another famous way to utilize a personal website can be to work as a freelancer like if you do not want to work on freelancing websites like Upwork and Fiverr because they charge commissions to you like 20% and you do not want to give commissions to those freelancing websites and you want to take all the freelancing clients from your website itself uh, by providing value but yeah there are limitless possibilities on how you can utilize your personal website I have personally landed good clients from my own personal website as well so these are some uses and we'll take a look on how you can build your own personal website as well both all the options and you can choose the one that is best for you and i would recommend which one you should go with but yeah uh, it's upon your preference as well and i'll share it in detail on how you can build your own personal website now the second type of website that you can build a business type of website and business type of website there are many websites that you can build like for example facebook is also a business type of website instagram which is also a business type of website then Twitter these are all social media websites now a business type of website can be usually created when like you have an idea in your mind that can solve a problem or you think it is really interesting website that many people would like to use and you would like to earn money from it maybe it can be a monthly charge maybe it can be a one-time charge or it can be a yearly charge and you just want to bring your idea to real life through using various tech now in the business type of website there are different types of websites that you can build one is SaaS product which is software as a service here in the software as a service you build a website you bring your ideas to real life and you have specific features in your website that you have built which can only be accessed when users pay for those features maybe like you can provide a trial access at the start but later down the road you intend to make some money out of it through monthly charge through yearly charge or through one time charge as well so personally i have built a lot of saas products myself and one of the current saas products that i'm growing is tubepro.ai which is an all-in-one toolkit for youtubers it helps youtubers to improve their content by providing different tools one is like script generation and improvements tool and second one is thumbnail testing and comparison tool which allows you to compare your thumbnails against various other competitors and you can see how your thumbnails will look on various devices before actually uploading a youtube video so i personally use this tool myself and there are some features in this tool which are free and for some uh, good features i charge users some money monthly charge or they can subscribe to yearly charge and when they do i earn some money from it so this is one type of SaaS product that i have built and there are many other entrepreneurs or creators who have built their own SaaS products which they have scaled to ten thousand dollars per month hundred thousand dollars per month then other business type of website can be a e-commerce store where you have built a physical product or you are outsourcing the physical product from somewhere and you are fulfilling the delivery you are taking the product and delivering it to the customers or people that come to your website or you are giving the address of users to the person who is creating the product and who will fulfill the delivery as well and you just earn the profit from your product now let's take a look at how you can build each type of website starting with the first one which is personal website for building personal websites you can go with the coding options like html css javascript react nextjs and for deploying you can use vercel or netlify but i personally would never recommend for you to code your own personal websites cause it's time taking that's the first one then second is like if you want to make any updates in the future which you will definitely need to make frequent updates uh, you will have to code it you will have to go to the specific page again in your code and update it and then deploy it it's time taking and very technical so and there are various other disadvantages and i don't think you need to code because personal type of websites are not very complex so you don't need to code them not coding then what other options that we have 
the other good options that i personally would recommend you for building any type of personal website is no code or low code options uh, you can go with it based on your preference but yeah starting with the no code and low code options it is wix framer squarespace webflow wix squarespace and framer are more easier to use each of them offers some coding options as well if you are more of a coder then you can go with webflow it offers even more customization options and you can code some things yourself as well it is a low code option i would personally recommend for you to directly go onto this website and start building your website for getting design you can use a website called dribble.com it's a great website for getting design inspiration actually on wix webflow framer and all this no code or low code options there are very great templates as well that you can use directly without needing to get the design and create the design yourself aside from dribble.com you can also check out behance.net website for getting more design inspiration you can directly start using these templates as well that are already available on this websites that i just shared now how you can build business type of website that solves people's problems and you can earn money from it so let's take a look at how you can build each of them there are various types in this category as well first and for most is e-commerce websites that you will see everywhere amazon flipkart but you can build your own e-commerce website as well maybe for a specialized product for your own product that you have built or you're outsourcing from anywhere if you're outsourcing it from somewhere else it's usually called drop shipping the only website that you need for building any e-commerce website is shopify I have personally built a Shopify store as well and got its revenue to $1,000. I made some loss in it as well. If you have a good product or you're outsourcing a product from somewhere else, which is good and you create great ads and create great design in Shopify itself, then you can earn a decent living from Shopify as well. Now, second type of website, which is SaaS product, software as a service product, uh, which is like you create a tool or website and you have restricted a certain features in your website and for users to access those features users will pay you it can be monthly yearly or lifetime charge as well now for building SaaS products usually there are various sections one is authentication authentication means logging in using google sign up or customized sign up as well like a personal email and password that you can create on your website so that is authentication then second is landing page when users visit your website the first thing that they see is the landing page uh, on which you have to mention the features of your website or the tool that you have created then the reviews the testimonials that you have got from users or the users that have tried the product and they have provided testimonials you can add that then all those things come into the landing page then another section or page you need to create is pricing for your page now building SaaS products can be a little challenging uh, you will need to learn a ton of things there are many technologies that you can use based on your product that you have created and i'll personally share my tech stack which i think is easier for you to get started into uh, this is my own personal tech stack that i will just share now basically you need to create an authentication page now authentication page can be where like users come up and sign up and sign in or create their account on your website now landing page is all about what your website is about and why the user should log in and sign up and subscribe to the paid plan the features you can explain your features on it you should have testimonials of the users who have used your product in the past and they have found it useful and they were a premium customer of your website so you can add that as well you can add their testimonials so landing page is all about convincing the users that uh, it can solve their problem or it's an interesting website that they should subscribe to then next section is pricing section like pricing section showcases the different plans that you have on your website and plans can be divided like starter plan which has less features then there can be a pro plan which has more features then pro plan is where you're charging more for users as well so you can divide it based on the features that you are providing then after user signs up or logs in there should be different features that you will need to build for users to why would a user subscribe if the product does not solve a problem or um, there are no features uh, it would just be a static page so you would need to build some features you can have a blog page as well so that you share about a specific topic that is related to your website and it brings users to your website through seo and you can create those articles so that you bring more users to your website and then there is like hosting part which is like you need to host your website onto uh, maybe a server or use a service for hosting your website and i'll share all the tech stack for how you can build each of the section so starting with authentication part so for authentication i personally re would recommend using aws cognito and aws amplify you can code authentication yourself as well by using coding tools and backend tools but i personally would recommend using aws cognito and aws amplify 
they have already simplified the authentication process and you just have to build the front end and you need to connect your front end with AWS Cognito and AWS Amplify and they will handle all the backend processes like managing the users, uh, getting users on board, then managing the passwords and you do not need to worry about the security aspect as well. They will manage it all from their end. It's very cheap to use as well. So I would personally recommend AWS Cognito and AWS Amplify for authentication part. Then comes the next part, which is landing page and front end features. For building front end, you need to use JavaScript. Uh, but yeah, going ahead, you need to use Next.js or React, which are like frameworks that helps you to build front end part very fast and better in comparison with JavaScript. So I would personally recommend that. Then the front end part itself, like for designing all the different sections that I just shared, you can take inspiration from Dribble website, dribble.com or Behance.net is also a website which is uh, great at taking design inspirations. So you can take design inspirations from there. Now for building your own designs and different sections, you can use either Figma or Canva. Uh, I personally use Figma for designing uh, my own websites. So Figma is a great tool for designing the websites. Uh, but yeah, you can use Canva as well because it's uh, more easier to use drag and drop is there. But yeah, Figma offers more customizations you will learn the most when you start building your own product itself like a SaaS product so don't spend too much time into understanding or uh, practicing this stuff just go through it once and start building your own SaaS products that's when you will learn the most now coming to the next section which is backend stuff for building the features the main part of your website and for backend uh, you can use node.js or express and I personally would recommend you to learn AWS serverless like even if you're using node.js express or python for building features I personally would recommend using AWS serverless like you do not have to construct the servers yourself. Uh, you can let AWS manage it themselves and you can just use their services. There are different services they offer and each of them is very useful and I personally uh, use them for building my SaaS products as well. The services that are there in AWS serverless are like AWS Lambda functions which are individual functions that you create with either Node.js Express uh, or Python. Uh, and there you can add your features code and you can connect your front end with those lambda functions and they will manage the features for the users and it's easily scalable for like thousands of users for hundreds of thousands of users uh, without you needing to manage the servers yourself and it's very cheap as well so i would personally recommend you to use aws lambda function for creating any backend features there is api gateway that you can connect your lambda function with api gateway and then you get a URL that you can connect your front end with. And there's DynamoDB database, which is a NoSQL database. And you can store any user data or apps data over here. And you can easily access it from Lambda functions again. Then for payments, there are different payment providers. Uh, I personally use paddle.com. Uh, they handle the tax for you. So uh, it's a great website. But yeah, then there are also other ones like Lemon Squeezy and Stripe. Uh, then for setting up blocks, you can use Hashnode Headless. So it's an extra service that Hashnode has created, which allows you to set up blocks on your own website with your own custom domain. So uh, it's very easy for you to get uh, started with creating blocks on your own website and um, they are like SEO optimized as well. So a great tool for, for creating blocks. Then for hosting, I personally use Vercel, but yeah, you can use Netlify as well. Uh, again, Vercel uh, simplifies the hosting process for you and uh, you do not have to worry about the backend stuff uh, related to hosting it on your own server. Uh, you can host on your own server as well to make it a bit cheaper, but then it's uh, too much work and I personally would not recommend it if you are starting out. And yeah, that's it. Uh, that was my tech stack for building SaaS products. and. Um, and with that, I end the video. Hope you liked the video and found it useful and see you in the next video.